If you want to learn how to balance a chemical equation, then you've come to the right place. Um, here's a reaction you may have come across before at school. You may have done this as an experiment. Um, it's magnesium reacted with hydrochloric acid and it produces magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So what you probably did at school was you had a test tube of uh, hydrochloric acid and you you would have put in to that test tube a piece of magnesium and then you would have covered the top immediately with your thumb you would have felt as it started reacting and as the bubbles of hydrogen gas started being formed you would have felt pressure building up inside the test tube okay um, once enough pressure had built up probably what you did was you removed your thumb and immediately placed a lit splint over the top of the test tube and you would have heard a squeaky pop sound so back to the equation uh, we can represent this equation in symbols so magnesium is mg uh, hydrochloric acid hcl uh, magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas there um, but this equation is unbalanced can you see why um, let's count up what we have on each side of the equation so on the left hand side we have uh, an atom of magnesium and we have a molecule of hydrochloric acid that's a hydrogen bonded with a chlorine atom on the other side we have magnesium chloride so one magnesium bonded with two chlorine atoms and we have two hydrogen atoms bonded together to form a hydrogen molecule so if we count up what we have on each side uh, we have one magnesium here and one on the right we have one hydrogen on the left but we have two on the right and we have one chlorine on the left but we have two chlorines on the right so what's the problem with this well um, we can't magically create an extra chlorine and an extra hydrogen from nothing it's just not possible so if one molecule of magnesium reacts with one molecule of hydrochloric acid we can't possibly produce a molecule of magnesium chloride and a molecule of hydrogen it's just not possible but what if we had two molecules of hydrochloric acid then when we count up the number of each element on the left hand side and the right hand side now we find that yes we have one magnesium here and one magnesium here we have two hydrogens on the left and two on the right and we have two chlorines on the left and two on the right so that means that this equation is now balanced notice how we don't add any small numbers like these um, to the equations if we did that it would no longer be if we if we added a 2 here if we added a 2 here and a 2 here and didn't do that then this would no longer be hydrochloric acid the molecule would be different it would be something like this and that's just a different molecule that's not really a hydrochloric acid so we can't do that it turns it into something that it's not so we can only multiply the whole molecule by two so instead of one molecule we have two molecules of hydrochloric acid so we can't mess about with these smaller numbers okay we can only uh, multiply the entire molecule
by a number. So one, <clears throat> one atom of magnesium reacts with two hydrochloric acid molecules to produce one molecule of magnesium chloride and one molecule of hydrogen gas. So let's look at this reaction. Um, this is nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas reacting together and producing ammonia. Now, technically, this is a reversible reaction, um, but we don't need to worry about that for this. We're just trying to balance it. So I've just put a normal arrow there. Um, so let's have a look at um, what we have here. On the left hand side, we have two nitrogen atoms bonded together. We have two hydrogen atoms bonded together. So that's two of each. And on the right hand side, we have one nitrogen bonded to three hydrogen atoms. Um, so immediately we see the problem. We have two nitrogens here on the left and then on the right hand side we only have one and on the left we have two hydrogens and on the right we only have three hydrogens so it's unbalanced and we need to balance it because this equation can't work as it is. So let's start by balancing the ends, the nitrogens. We've got two on this side and only one here so if we multiply this molecule by two which means we make another ammonia molecule. Now we have our two nitrogens, which is great. The nitrogens balance. But what about the hydrogens now? Now we have six hydrogens on the right hand side and only two here. So what can we do now to this to get this to balance out? Well, if we multiply that by three meaning we now have instead of one hydrogen molecule we have three hydrogen molecules one two and three now we have our six hydrogen atoms on on both sides of the equation and we have two nitrogen atoms on both sides of the equation so that now is balanced okay this one's a bit more difficult um, if you like you can pause the video at this point and you can have a go at balancing this yourself and see how you do um, but if you like you can just carry on watching and I'll go through how to work this out so we have iron oxide here reacting with carbon monoxide and that produces iron metal and carbon dioxide gas Okay, so how do we balance this? Well, what's the problem? First of all, on this side we have two iron atoms, right? So we've got Fe, two of them, and we've got three O's. And then we've got a C and we have an O. Okay, on the right hand side we have only one iron atom and we've got one carbon and two oxygens. So this is a problem because we have two ions here and only one here. We have four oxygens total on the left and only two on the right. And well, the carbons are okay, there's one on the left and one on the right. So, so far, so good for the carbons. Okay, so what do we do? First thing we can do, and this is the easiest thing, is to uh, balance out the ions, the Fe's. So we have two here and one here. Now, easy solve, easy fix to this is to have two Fe's. So we have two atoms of iron now on the right hand side and on the left hand side so that's great um, but we still have to balance the oxygens we have four and we have two so uh, what could we do here we could multiply this by two so that could give us 
um, four oxygens on this side and two carbons but now the problem is we've got two carbons here and only one here so we've balanced the oxygens but the carbons are now unbalanced so now what do we do well um, we can play around a bit more uh, with this we can instead of multiplying this by two we can multiply by three so we can have three of those um, so now we've got six oxygens which is unbalanced and we have three carbons which is even more unbalanced than it, than it was before but there's a reason why I did that and the reason is what I can do now on this side is I can multiply this I can put a three here and what that allows me to do is to have two more molecules of carbon monoxide now if we add up each of the elements on either side we find that they're actually balanced so two two uh, ions on the left two ions on the right one two three four five six oxygens on the left one two three four five six on the right carbons one two three on the left one two three on the right so sometimes it's a case of just playing with the numbers a little bit sometimes it's trial and error sometimes you won't get it right the first time always um, and it will take you uh, a couple of times to find the right numbers to work with um, but in the end you'll get there okay so thanks for watching the video that was how to balance chemical equations or chemical formulae um, i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video make sure to click like and if you want more videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel